If you're into programming or coding, then the code snippets feature might be very useful for you. So I'm going to go around into settings to enable that over here. So I'm going to go to the chat area and I'm going to click show code snippet button right over here, just like this. So I'm just going to close this around and once I go to chat now, I have this option right over here called code, as you can see right here. So I can see that I'm sending the code to code regarding something to the other user here. Hello there. I am sending uh, an HTML and uh, sending a HTML code regarding bold. All right, so I can say something like this. And after that, I'm going to go to code right over here. And then I'm going to select HTML right over here as my choice right over here. So I'm going to give it a title like a uh, bold function right over here, just like this. And I'm going to say uh, B right over here, which is the bold tag for HTML. So you do need some HTML knowledge for this. But anyways, this is only for those who are into coding. So I'm going to say hello there, just like this. And I'm going to close this out. So just like this, what I can do is I can create a snippet right over here and that will snippet will be sent in the code format as you can see. So uh, uh, not like other format right over here, not like a regular text format, but as a code snippet. So what the other person can do now is they can just go out, copy it out right over here and then paste it somewhere else on where they want to paste it. So they can paste it on their uh, programming area and so forth, just like that. And that is uh, what code snippets are for. It's a way for coders and programmers to communicate with and one another so that it's easier to copy and paste source codes. So that's how you can use the code snippet function inside of Zoom clients. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.